It's taken millions of years to carve the red rock sculptures of the Canyonlands. Today, they spread across several states, including Colorado, Arizona, Utah, and Nevada. These isolated high plateau are still home to some animals that were here at the end of the last ice age. Today, the mountain lion is the largest predator that still patrols the canyons, living much as it did 13,000 years ago. It's a tough existence. Food is hard to come by, water too, and the desert climate swings from below zero overnight to nearly 40 degrees centigrade by day. At least there's no shortage of shade. A labyrinth of caves can offer shelter from the heat and cold and from the dangers of the night. There was a time when even mountain lions couldn't sleep in safety. These caves are haunted by the ghost of another carnivore that dwarfed the mountain lion. Probably the best known of all Ice Age hunters. It killed with fangs like these, 20 centimeters long. The saber-toothed cat. But how exactly were these chilling weapons used? With its 300 kilo frame and short legs, the saber tooth was not that fast. It probably ambushed prey, using its huge weight to pin it down before delivering a slashing bite to the neck. Shock and loss of blood would quickly kill its victim. And yet, these lethal fangs must have caused problems for their owner, too. How do you eat with teeth this long? Even with a huge gape, almost twice the span of any other cat, the saber-tooth could barely open its mouth wide enough to lift these massive canines clear of its lower jaw. That would have made it very difficult to take a bite. But it also had these special cheek teeth. They suggest it ate through the sides of its mouth, slicing off manageable strips of flesh. Even so, the saber-tooth must have been forced to leave much of its meal for scavengers. <laughs> 